Yes, we are live. Are we? Can you hear me? Hopefully. Who knows? Who knows anything in this crazy world anymore? But we're live, we think. We're bankroll challenging, we think. You're very welcome to join us. It is, if it is your first time ever watching, um, well done for being so prompt and early and on time. Uh, slightly suspicious. Um, but yeah, this is a little channel where we start with $50, $50 $100? I can't remember. $100. And uh, we thought we'll work our way up to $10,000 and then beyond. Who knows? We'll just try and hit the million. So we'll go play some 50s. Uh, ultras aren't running, so we'll try some reg speeds. Uh, we've managed to get up to $1,422.48. Very specific, aren't they? And so let's see how we can get on as we play a 50. Let's take 50 bucks off our buy-ins. Double me from Sky says, hey, a few questions if I may. Of course you may. Assuming I'm taken, taken by Team 601, what sort of stake limit would I need to be able to beat in order to make 1,700 pounds a month? Once I get my cut, I play five percent time and stand speed as an able to beat ultras yet. Uh, let me call here first. Jim and I achieve average win rates. Numbers I've never played with before, but they are 2.2xing. That's a good sign. So we will see. Is it a bit bright? Mm, we'll leave it at that. I've had a very busy day coaching, so apologies. I'm a little bit fatigued so hopefully i'll be i'm trying to think to have some extra caffeine to try and get me you know up and ready to commentate and everything let's jump into some hand analysis we have a raise a check 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 check, check and queen six wins possibly a spot numbers could have taken a bet uh with a hand jack seven offers a min raise numbers i'm so sorry you're beginning given the non full-time spin player tag uh and let's see easy life uh, is definitely a reg so we know numbers 2.2x with the jack seven off and the check down with a second pair on a monotone board. Um, not too much to say in terms of the post slot. I think it's pretty reasonable from a check down, although could sometimes a C bet there, but chose not to. So I think that can range them somewhat similarly in terms of that kind of range of hands. Uh, we'll start with a check here. Go for probably two streets on this run out if we face a check again. So just trying to get value from a, a seven, I think 1.3 or 1.3 or something like that. Um, depends on the, what the river brings. Some rivers will be able to get a nice bit of value, some rivers perhaps not. This river, I think we can definitely target the 7x. Difficult in terms of now every 4x, of course, is is there. So we are being quite specific in our ranging. And so definitely going making going too big would be a mistake. So I'm going to go 1.2 and hope a 7x calls or maybe a king high or an ace high. But we get a fold. Shame. Now, uh, given that we saw the raise with Jack Seven off in theory on the button, three-handed, this in theory could be a bit of a wider raise. Maybe we get some more folds. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm shoving sixes anyway, but it might incentivize us slightly to somewhat bluff here. I don't know. Uh, Ace three suitor is going to start with a limp. Lopping a flush draw. That's pretty good for us. Yeah. Can bet, can check sometimes. Uh, I think yeah. a bet would be pretty no. cool. So there's options of plenty, but maybe checking's also fine. I mean, it, it's, it doesn't matter, right? We get a check call. I'm going to bet the turn. Uh, betting the turn is uh, nice in terms of definitely can target a six to fold. Definitely still getting called by worse, by the way. So king 10, 10, 9, king high flush draws can still can still call. Um, so we can get better the fold. We can get worse to call. Um, and it frees up our options in terms of the river if you want to go for it uh, on the river. This river, probably not so much. We still have a tiny bit of showdown, perhaps. So we can beat some king 10, king 9, kings of spades. Um, if this river was, let's say... Uh, a different kind of river i think 10 9 obviously is still there five seven maybe jack eight stuff like that um queen four so happy with the decision to give up river happy with the decision to bet i mean if, if especially if we don't get raised by two pair that's also good for us um less downsides to betting when that happens we have a bet we have a check on the turn typically you wouldn't expect too much asex in this range Checking a turn, and then the min bet, you wouldn't expect too many flush draws in this turn. Could be some two pair, they definitely could still bet. Would they ever bet, for example, just a, a, a absolute bottom of the range? One in six times, are we right? I don't know, but I think it's worth being having a look. And they have a nine, which is fine. Interesting to see him not bet the turn and then go, but that's such a small bet on the river. And so um, we were probably wrong in the long term there, but we pick up, let's say, a bit of information. Uh, 
to see that maybe the 1BB is now going to be in future and slightly under bluff size and Kings is a nice hand. Oscar! It's Vex Vicky Man Drugs, Vex me, Vex me, Kartiviet, uh, Manit Labby, Kartiviet, Bowdies, 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 Kartiviet Drugs. Oscars is one of my best friends, and we're always checking each other out on Be Real, because we're just being real there, yeah? We're just the kind of guys that be real. Uh, be real, guys. Um, yeah, I will be going for a bit here. I'm going to go for just a triple off, I think. Uh, Samid Poker. Thank you very much for the follow, Samid Poker. In theory, this would be definitely overdoing a little bit. Um, in terms of if you're not necessarily overdoing it. But how bad could it be? Still going to get some auto from like a 10-2, Jack-2. Uh, Queen 4 will river 2 pair, and that will definitely win. So, GG. Would that have called without hitting the 2 pair? We don't know. We don't know. But maybe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Herr Jonas. Vielen Dank uh, for dein freundliches Geschenk. Das ist ein sehr nettes Dinger, das du hast gekauft. Crazy Edgy Oscar says, enjoying Be Real more than Insta lately. Just a couple of guys being real and be real, guys. Just, just how me and Oscar's roll, yeah? I, I am slightly... So I don't know if anyone is unaware. Be real. It's like... Imagine Instagram. But just a bit more mundane. Just a bit more, you know. Like Instagram where you haven't really picked a nice photo. You just gotta... And so be real, the idea is you, you just take a photo of what's happening in front of you on the... On the day. Now the problem with be real is... A lot of the time I get the B-roll notification, I'm on the toilet, and I think... Do I... Is that a good B-roll? And I think, nah, I, sh I should wait till at least I'm outside or something, right? So... You know, because that is the majority of my B-rolls, if I was honest. Just the radiator in front of me. But I think it's not a good B-roll. It's not a good B-roll to take, so... I'll wait until I'm in the cafe. Better, more sociable it looks, doesn't it? All right, we get a quick call on the flop. Uh, from what kind of hands? I think overs here. I'm going to check uh, and uh, let's see. I think if there's a, if we're up against a weak nine x, they're going to bet anyway. I think a lot of the overs will try and bet. Um, if they check two of the overs, it's fine. We can check jam here. It's kind of interesting in terms of like, let's say if they're going to bet a hand like Jack 10 or something. The SP, I think is fine for it. If he's got his beat, he's got his beat. I don't think we just accept it and we're not too worried about that. Take our medicine as well as he will tell me. We still get value from a 9-8, a 10-9, a 9-6 or whatever. Um, but I think it's kind of cool because it really disincentivizes the bet with like a Jack 10 or a Queen 10 or a Queen Jack or a Queen 10. Uh, and I think given timings and given speed, it feels like a hand like that. So it worked out. Is that theoretically correct? Probably not, but probably if you could reload knock it in your head with all the timings it could be. We can make it theoretically correct. No locks will help. Double me from Sky says, hey, a few questions if I may. Of course you may. Assuming I'm taken, taken by T601, what sort of stake limit would I need to be able to beat in order to make £1,700 a month? Once I get my cut, I play 5% of the time and stand speed as an able to beat ultras yet. Uh, let me call here first. Assuming I achieve average win rates. Assume I play for 35 hours a week. So let's figure out your hourly. Uh, let's firstly check in. Um, so 1700 a month is a definitely in a very, a, I would say very achievable. Now this sucks. Uh, every sort of value is available for our opponents. We block 6-8 and jack-8, but it's not just 6-8 and jack-8. He has, he will also have every two pair here. So hand like 9-7, 7-5, king-7, king-9. I think we're all capable of betting this. I think we have a pure bluff catcher. I think every bit of hand bets but there, by the way. So I think even... Um, I don't know if a 9x bets that sizing, but certainly king-x plus bets that sizing. So every one pair and two pair. And then it's still, just because we block it, still is jack-8 and 6-8 in that range. Could we be beat bluffed by Jack-4? Sure, but not really Jack-4 off is calling. There's only Jack-4 suited, of which there's only three combos. Uh, in terms of offsuit combos, well, 9-7 offsuit, etc, etc. I'm just going to fold. Don't know, though. I think folding is quite good to just be relaxed. No, no we're practicing non-attachment. That's what we're trying to do. Just non-attach. We'll fold, and instead we'll just jam our pair into a pair. That's that's how we're going to win at this game. In terms of 
making $2,000 a month or £700 a month. Uh, you could definitely do it at 20s. You could do it at 10s as well. Um, you five, t so it will just be a, a dependent on your ROI per game um, and your chibi V that you make and the games you put in. But let's say you play, you say 35 hours a week. That's a, that's a lot of volume. Okay, so that'd be 140 hours a month. If you're five tabling ultras, you'll be playing, oh, five tables at a time and standard speed. Oh, as unable. Okay, sorry. The five tables at a time at standard speed will be 35 games. Well, we didn't get the check raise. This feels kind of weak. So let's try and keep the range wide because I think we will get lots of overfold here, if I'm honest. So we're going to go for 1.3. And if he's got King-10, he'll bet the river. If he's got Jack-10, he'll bet the river. If he's got Queen-10, he bets the river. We lose to Ace-8, we miss out on magic from that. We might get a value from six, but I think checking's pretty cool. Um, and Ace-4, okay. Difficult to, for a bet to be better than a check there, assuming reason, uh, typical ranges, but anyway. Yeah, so I think if you take 10s, 20s, definitely achievable. Um, it's just a matter, like, it's impossible to say for sure because it depends a bit on your ability. Um, I would say most of, six of one, we're fortunate, well, we're not fortunate, we work quite hard, but the guys have uh, higher than average win rates in, when you compare them to uh, the rest of the regs in the field at every state level. Uh, and we work really hard to try and stay ahead of the competition in terms of providing, I hope, a really good pool of resources for everybody in terms of mental, strategic, all kinds of different things that we're working on. Um, some people will uh, accelerate quicker up the spin curve, if you like, than others. Um, and there is still obviously uh, some people who may just not be able to move above 50s or something, and it's okay, that's not a problem. But uh, it's really tough to say. Uh, I would say, like, if you play 50s, you could very comfortably do it. Um, if you play 20s, you could definitely do it. Um, it's. I, I would suggest that requiring yourself to make $2,125 a month is quite tough, especially if it's uh, that's an amount where you're not currently winning at ultras. That's quite a significant jump to make. So I don't know if you currently have a job where you're making £1,700 a month and you're, like, trying to pivot to poker to make the same amount of money I'd be cautious I probably should have donked this but I wasn't paying attention most do little fact, fun fact for you ladies and gentlemen most donked board big blind versus button in the world so we're just going to go three quarters and probably give up river because it's very easy to assume over bluffs um cash race hola maestro suerte muchas gracias amigo muchas gracias thank you very much what a interesting sizing mm. okay I mean, we could lose to like 10 7. I probably wouldn't fold a pair here. Are we just trying to get, are we just trying to get owned by 10 7 here? Mm. Okay, okay. It could be, it could be. And Tan says, I go, what limit is this? 50s, yeah. The bankroll is 1.3k. We are playing very, very poor bankroll management. Uh, it is very true. But we are very aggressive in moving down as well. So not just about aggressive moving up. We're aggressive moving down as well. So that will happen. I have not updated my bankroll at all. So I'm actually on 2.7 here. This is the third buying we have. 